Okay, so this is Tanya. She's going to be demonstrating the remote control application. This, this is about the fourth time that we took a take on this, so she's kind of a little bit giddy on this. So this is the um, application. So we'll see that on the left, on the right side here, this represents the Roku commands, and then this on the left represents the TV commands. So if she wanted to do Roku commands, she would hit the right button. But, or yes, the right button. If she wanted TV commands, she would hit the left button. So the first thing that she's going to do is do TV commands and she's going to turn the TV on. Echo, turn the TV on. So she's gonna do that one more time to show that she's gonna hit TV, okay. TV on, off, and then TV on. Echo, turn the TV on. So if she wanted to turn it off, she would do TV, TV on. Echo, turn the TV off. Just like that. So now she's gonna to go to do the Roku. The Roku isn't tied to um, Alexa at all. Um, so it's completely independent of the Alexa device. So the first thing that she's going to do is she's going to move the cursor on the Roku to the right. So to do that, she'll do Roku, up, down, left, right, left, right, right. And then that will move the cursor to the right. So if she wants to watch Netflix now, she's going to want to hit the OK button. So she's going to select Roku, Controls, OK. And that selects OK. If she wanted to go home again, she were to go Roku, Controls, Home. And that brings her back to home. Now, at first, when using the application, having the screen is helpful because it shows how to navigate. But eventually, you start to learn what all the commands are. So, right here we have the cheat sheet. So, if she wanted to go right, she could do that by going right, left, right, right, which corresponds to Morse code Y. So, go ahead and do right, left, right, right. So, now she can do that without having to use the screen because she knows Morse code. So, she can go so she can do a select, which is right, right, left, which is a G. So she doesn't really, at that point, no need to have the screen in front of her to, to have that memorized. If you don't have Morse code memorized, we could just print out the sheet so that you can see that in order to turn the TV on, it would just be left, left, left. So go ahead and hit left, left, left. Echo, turn the TV on. And then turns on the TV. And then if she wants to go home, it would just be right, right, right. And that corresponds to a Morse code O, and that just takes takes um, you right back there. Then the nice thing about the Bluetooth switch is that it has the inputs for external switches. So you could plug in whatever switches you want and still have it executing um, wirelessly to the computer which is running the controller. So I'll just go here right which is um, right left right right and that moves me there and if I want to select it it would just be right right left. So that's pretty much it and then the computer can really be running anywhere so I could just be over here and right right left and then it will just go and execute the commands as long as it's in range with the computer.